guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace your flex disc, also known as the Guibo. Now I've seen a lot of people have problems with these, they start to have cracks in them due to high stress over time. If you live in a hot climate area, they will dry rot very quickly unfortunately because it's just made out of hard rubber. The symptoms are pretty obvious, you'll start to get shaking at around high miles per hour or your steering wheel will start to vibrate, also under launch or during launch control. Now it really doesn't matter what mileage your car is, I've seen them happen at 25,000 miles, at 60,000 miles. My my car is at 91,000 miles and I'm now changing it. In my case, I'm starting to feel it as soon as I press down the accelerator from any miles per hour. As soon as I press it down, I start to feel a little shaking. So I believe this will fix the problem. I got the kit from Beamer World. They send you the Guibo, the bolts and the nuts, stickers, and they're also kind enough to send you some jelly beans. The tools are pretty basic. I'll go along as I make the video, but the most important tools are the 18 millimeter socket, the E14, a few extensions, and a pry bar. This fortunately is very, very easy to change out. It's just a little time consuming. The first thing you need to do is remove your exhaust. By doing that is you need to remove the strut brace out of the way that's right by your resonator. They're held in by eight eight millimeter bolts. Get a jack and put it under your muffler. Take another jack and jack up your resonator. So you have jack points when you drop the exhaust, it won't hit the ground. Unplug your rear exhaust valve. Luckily the exhaust is only held on by six screws. We're gonna start with the downpipe to the exhaust. Take a 13 millimeter and remove that bolt. Remove this nut. Remove the 13 millimeter screws that are holding on the muffler to the chassis. Do the same for the other side. Once all six screws are removed, slowly bring down your muffler and it should separate from the car. Now simply pull backwards while wiggling it so you can separate it from the downpipe. And some wiggle, and it'll come right off. Now we're gonna take off the heat shield that covers the drive shaft. It's held on by eight, eight millimeter screws. And the last two are 10 millimeter. Once you have all the screws off, the heat shield should come right off. We're gonna have these panels and slide it backwards. And now you can see the drive shaft. Thankfully, my center shaft bearing doesn't need replacing. You can actually push up on the shaft itself, and you can see that it, there is no play there at all. So that's good to go. So here's our culprit. Clearly see mine has been through so much stress and dry rot. It's literally ready to crack in pieces. So Switch this sucker out. Before removing the flex disc, you need to mark them down. So you put them back and they're aligning centered. So you wanna mark the three hole flange, the flex disc, and the drive shaft. With the flex disc, I'm gonna make an arrow that's pointing to the front of the car. So when I take it out, I know to put the new one back in correctly. From my angle, it should look something like this. The drive shaft and the flex disc are held on by three 18 millimeter screws. You need to remove the nuts. And there's your third. Once they're loose, you can remove them from the shaft. Once those three screws are out, you have your E14 bolts. Go ahead and just remove them out of place. This is good to use something with leverage. It really helps you removing them if you don't have a lift like I do. Your center shaft bearing bracket is held on by two 13 millimeter screws. Remove them. Just have something to support the shaft when it falls down so it doesn't hit the ground. And now simply grab onto the drive shaft and pull towards the front of the car. And it should just come off. And the Guibo, slide it off. And there you go. This is exactly why you probably should replace yours as well, guys. Looks really bad. Cracks all over the place. This probably wouldn't have lasted another five, ten thousand 10,000 miles. To make sure you put this back in correctly, there's arrows on the side of the Guibo. Remember earlier how we pointed an arrow? So we just gotta line up those arrows with the new Guibo so we make sure we put it back on correctly so everything stays aligned. So once you align all the arrows and everything looks good, go ahead and mark the position with the arrow so you can line it up with the drive shaft when you put it back in the car. 
Now, Beamer World provides you with this entire kit. They give you the bolts, the nuts, so I'll link everything down below so you guys don't have to look for it. Keep in mind, this kit can apply for other vehicles as well, so they'll send you the extra bolts. So I'm just gonna use the bolts that came out of the car, the E14 ones, and put them back exactly where they came out. Line up your arrow, and we do everything backwards. Put it in place. Once you have the flex disc in between the flange and the drive shaft, go ahead and line up your arrow and simply push the drive shaft into the guido. Just like that. And it'll sit in place. Beamer World sends you three brand new bolts. Make sure you use those, put them through. The drive shaft into the flex disc. Tighten down the nuts. Don't screw them in tight yet. We have to torque them down later. And your E14 bolts. Before you tighten down anything on the flex disc, make sure you put back your two 13 millimeter screws that hold up your center uh, drive shaft bearing. And slowly tighten them back in place. Ah, oh, there we go. There you go. Good. Now we put back our heat shield, our exhaust, and we're pretty much done. Tighten it down. Plug back your exhaust flap, back your exhaust port. Tighten these bolts down. All right guys, and that's how you change your Guibo. I'll link everything down below. On a scale out of 10, the difficulty is about a four. It's just time consuming, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, let me know down below. All right guys, till next time, peace. Alright, we, we, we need to make sure we pass that on video. There you go.